last one on Leo. Gang, gang. It's still your season, so birthday blessings, okay? Um, especially if, you know, this is your first time checking me out. I go by Jess. What's up? Um, before we get started, guys, give this video a thumbs up. We're getting good in the algorithm. I appreciate y'all. Um, if you're new, like I said, and you're at any time you're digging this vibe, please go ahead and subscribe. Welcome to the tribe. If this is more than your second time here, please subscribe. You are a part of the soul tribe, unless you're a troll, which I mean, then I guess I understand. But nonetheless, you should still subscribe too. And everybody make sure your notification button is on so that way you know when these videos premiere or if your girl happens to go live. Um... If you'd like to book a reading with me, you can book on my website that is listed in the description box below. So, Leo, yeah, we're just going to get into this. We're going to get some weekend tea and see what's going on. Okay, somebody's crying over you. Yeah, and I did see something about friends because we're going to pull um, a soul's journey at the end. Yeah, somebody realized that they've wasted a lot of time or um, this could be like trying to hurt you as well. Or somebody played themselves trying to play you or something. Yeah, a groupie. They was chasing behind other people. Thought it was okay to outcast you. It's like, you know, I'm seeing like those scenarios where it's like, say it's like you're a part of the nerd squad, right? It's like you and two other friends or you and another friend and y'all like, y'all smart. People, you know, think of y'all as the outcast. Y'all nerdy, right? And then say, like, the friend is popular in a lot of, like, tween teen movies or whatever shows. And, you know, somebody gets invited, you know, to hang out with the popular crowd and forgets the other friend behind. And then the popular crowd was really only using them and embarrasses them. Then they feel bad and want to go and hang back out with the geek squad. Like, this is what's going on. But I feel like you are the geek squad. And somebody, you know, decided to turn their back on you and choose, you know... I guess what appeared to be like a glamour lifestyle or somebody, you know, was chasing popularity or fame or something like that or, you know, groupie activities. And, you know, they could have gotten played out. Um, I feel the energy here of somebody getting played out or realizing that, you know, energies really weren't for them. They sacrificed you to go um, be with these type of individuals to find out that they were really a sacrifice themselves. Now, somebody is like wanting to come back to like ask you for help or something. Yeah, travel, okay? Somebody wants to come back towards you, you know, for your help or want to, like, kiss your ass, make up to you. Okay, yeah, somebody was living in a heavy daydream or fantasy that, I don't know, they could have even, like, I'm really using, like, somebody, like, tried to sacrifice you or use you to, like, get a one-up in life. And it backfired on them, like, terribly. This is also given, like, somebody not believing in you and, like, trying to downplay and, like, talk about your dreams, your aspirations and, like, you know, going around and spreading rumors or gossiping about what you got going on to other people and like pretty much evil eyeing you and seeing that you still came out on top and now feeling some kind of way because it's like you want no parts. You want no parts. So, yeah, screenshot. Yeah, somebody is saying that you're it's like Steve Urkel becoming Stefan. OK, like that's what's happening. Like somebody is seeing this and they're feeling away. So what's the tea, Divine Holy Spirit, for Leo for this weekend? What's the tea? Ooh, OK. Drama starter, and they almost didn't want to come out. Yeah, they're having some sort of legal issues. I'm telling you, they got caught up in the wrong crowd. Somebody could be calling you, asking to bail them out or something like that. Yeah, bail them out, help them out. Somebody needs help now after they done use you and whatever. Yeah, an offer. What else? Photo proof, trying to get evidence. I feel like this is giving the energy of somebody asking you to help them is it's like a remember the time. But for you, it's like, yeah, I remember the most recent time, though, when you um, exactly dirty offer when you played me and you used me. OK, like they're trying to come back around and be like, oh, but remember the time I did this for you, whatever, whatever, because they're scrambling and they're hurting and they need help. Somebody played. um play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Like, legit, that's what just happened right here. And you're th and, and that's all you're thinking about is what they did the last time. And you really don't want any parts to deal with this energy, and they're upset. But somebody is definitely coming back around after they tried to play goofy in your face um, and used you, right? Or tried to talk about you with other people. Let's talk about this drama that they started. I don't know. I guess I'm going to read some tarot seriously today. Mm. Yeah, somebody was trying to cause some sort of chaos or make you lose some sort of momentum or make like your, um, like if you have a business or something, it was trying to slow down your business or slow down your ability to get orders done or to produce, produce certain numbers. Yeah, somebody, yeah, definitely was gossiping about you. 
talking about you behind your back. <laughs> Cancer energy. Somebody was clowning you only to see that you're actually successful in what it is that you do. Let's see. Talk about the drama starter here, Divine Holy Spirit. Why is this here? Yeah, this is somebody who wants you to give up. This is a very stubborn indiv individual, okay? They break promises. This is somebody who's very much so worried about you actually accomplishing, you know, all your tasks and feats. Yeah, this is, yeah, travel. They want you to walk away from whatever it is that you're doing. They want you to abandon this. Yeah, somebody from your past this could be a friend, ex-lover, family member, whatever. They try to play innocent like, you know, they're not, yeah, especially with this moon and Sagittarius or Sagittarius energy, okay? And then we have Sun and Scorpio here. Like, they, they, they try to play like, you know, they're not trying to do this or whatever and try to make it seem like to people that, um... They're innocent and it's because of you and you kick them out the door. You, you're, you, 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 you. Somebody is victimizing themselves for something that they did to you. Okay. Um, somebody could be a Scorpio, a Sag, um, a mixture of that is Ophucus. Okay. Yeah. Again, because you, you didn't walk away from something that they want you to walk away from. Somebody's hoping that they really could have like told a whole community or whatever, to not mess with you or affiliate with you or somebody. This is even like something of somebody like posting bad reviews. What else would drama starter? Tell me about the six of cups on the drama starter. Yeah, they're trying to play innocent and, you know, it's just, it's like somebody wants you To take responsibility for the things that they've done. Somebody, like I said, they're trying to come off innocent. Like they're not out here deceiving people and lying on you. They're trying to say, oh, it wasn't me. I didn't say that. You know, whatever. Yeah, like I said, this could be a community. This could be family even. Okay. But they're trying to be like, oh, I didn't say that. I always believed in you or whatever. And that's not the case. What is this offer? Yeah. Desire to start. Aries energy. We got Aquarius with that seven of swords. What is the offer? With the full card. Yeah, look. More Aquarius energy. Somebody wants you to feel... Somebody think that you're a fool, Leo. Somebody is really thinking that you're foolish. Like, they can mess with your crown chakra, mess with your intuition. They could just tell you whatever. They can, like, cook something up and make it sound really good and that you'll just take it. Yeah. This is a miser energy. It is somebody who needs to control you. Somebody who's trying to hold you back. This is a false offer. What's photo proof? Getting evidence? I don't know why I'm hearing Mary J. Blige and Lil' Kim. I can love you better than she can. I don't even know. What's going on? Photo proof? Somebody's trying to get um, evidence on something here. But what they're trying to get evidence on is not leading them in any sort of positive direction. Okay? Like somebody's wasting their time trying to dig up something and figure something out about you. Yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus energy, Mars, they're trying to cause some kind of conflict. <sighs> this could also be somebody trying to set you up so that people don't patronize you, okay? Or people do not want to give with you or like have an equal give and take with you so that people don't mess with you, okay? This is some, I feel like you also have proof of somebody making you miss opportunities. Maybe you have caught wind, right, of what somebody has said. What's the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, you've caught wind of somebody lying on you here about lying who you're who you're dealing with or what you're into, what you give to, okay? You figured out why, okay? You could even have received this proof here, Aries Little Sagittarius, on why somebody is no longer affiliating with you. You now know the answers, whatever um, confusion there was or, you know, misleading information. You now have the accurate, you have the accuracy now. Yeah, with this Aries energy here. Yeah, you have the foresight. You see what's going on now? What's scarcity tactics? Three of Cups. Cancer energy. Failing business. King of Pentacles. Leo Virgo on this card. Taurus for me when I read. Or Capricorn. I always see Capricorn as like the true money maker. But, um...
Whoever this is, is somebody who is broke. Um, for, you know, to summarize this up, this is somebody who's trying to come back around because they need you to give to them. Somebody also could be out here lying, talking about how you left them out in the cold. But they're not talking about this dirty offer that they that they're actually hiding at the end of the day or that they're really trying to present to you. Somebody's trying to make it seem like, oh, I came through and tried to help Leo. I was there for them. Look, I sent them this message. They didn't accept my help. They pushed me to the side, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, Leo, you knew, you know what's up with this person. You know at the end of the day, this is a dirty offer. Yeah, you know that this person's trying to get you caught up. For, like we saw legal issues. For some of you guys, this could be like setting you up to be like some code defender or something or leaving you to catch the charges for something that they're doing that's illegal or something like that. Yeah, dirty offer. Somebody's trying to like make a like a, a money offer with you or trying to get you to invest in a situation that is honestly it's a bad idea and you know it's a bad idea. Again, if you take this pinnacle away from this, this is six of pentacles in reverse. And you have reasons for why you don't need to give to this person. This is somebody who is about to put you in debt or somebody who is going to like literally bleed you and run you dry. This is a groupie. This also could be a gold digger type of energy. You know that this person genuinely doesn't care about you. They're trying to come in with these cups, right? Like they're happy and they want to, you know, be in your energy or whatever. But no, it's because this person needs something from you. Yeah, you have foresight. You see this. You know this. Um, Seven of Pentacles in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you know that this is, this isn't okay. Like, this isn't okay. Rebellion. Like, you know that this is not okay by far. Um, that somebody literally is trying to get you caught up in a real bad binding contract or put you in a really bad place where um, you unfortunately will have to like restart or do something over. Somebody's also trying to make you go against your morals and your values here towards energy. Somebody is really, like I said, they're trying to manipulate this situation, okay? We've seen the Ace of Swords, we have the Five of Swords. Somebody's trying, Seven of Swords is in reverse, but again, they can't play you. Like, you're not gonna, you see the truth when it comes to whatever they're trying to offer. You know that whatever it is that they're trying to offer, offer you is unethical. For some of you guys, you know that the end result of this dirty offer could result in you, like, literally going to jail or putting your own finances in a, in a, um, in a, bre in a breeze, in a freeze, or like in a bind, right? That's why I breeze and freeze. <laughs> bind and freeze is a is a breeze. <laughs> um, yeah, like you know that this is what will happen. Like somebody is like trying to put you in a position where you lose out. I don't know. It's, it, it's still giving that energy of like destiny swapping or energy swapping. Somebody trying to like you know whatever. But I don't know. Like you know, you know what you know, and spirit is pretty much saying like stay on top of it. Like. And even if you don't and you have somebody from your past who's coming back around, like you essentially, you're going to know that whatever they're trying to offer you is is full of crap. Like it, it holds no weight. Like I don't, I'm hearing <clears throat> like whatever they're coming and offer you or presenting you with, you're even questioning how they got a chance to be able to offer you something like this. And the fact that you're questioning where they got something from or how they have the opportunity to offer you something is enough for you to know that you don't need to mess with it because something in you is letting you know that something is janky. Yeah, exactly, Leo. Here's your energy. Like, you're you're just not trying to have any tension. You're trying to remain at peace, right? Like, and it's just like, no, like, you know, this is a dirty offer. It's just letting people, like, no, this goes against my morals, my values. Like, I'm not up for this. This ain't cool. I'm not feeling this. Whatever. Let's see. What's the sole lesson to learn? Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. Yeah, like, I get it. They're trying to make an offer, but at the end of the day, you know that this is a dirty offer. Or this also could be you trying to tell somebody to not um, go and affiliate with somebody. You could be trying to warn a friend. But sometimes, you know, people have to learn for themselves, you know, if they want to rebel, you know, with that hierophant in reverse, right? Even though if you can see that it's a bad, like, you have to let people sometimes learn these lessons on their own. Okay, yeah, self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yeah, let somebody, you know, figure it out on their own. But, you know, that's a slight few of you if that part, if, if it resonates that way. But let's see. What's the um soul's journey to learn? What's the soul message for Leo, Divine Holy Spirit? What's the soul message for Leo? 
Ooh, Leo, I like this. We have courage, which always represents Leo energy for me. I find an inner strength to face fear with confidence. And then we have envy. Exactly. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Again, we saw the grouping energy. That's what I'm saying. Somebody could be definitely coming in trying to set you up. Okay? Because they see what you got going on, how hard you're working. And yeah, this could be somebody that you want to call a friend, somebody that you want to lay down with, somebody that you call sis, bro, whatever. But they're jealous. And for some of you guys, they're going to be like, oh, I got this deal, whatever, whatever. And yo, come on, come do it with me. But for you, I feel like any other day you probably would have. But your intuition is telling you not to mess with it. Have that inner strength to listen to what your crown is telling you with all this purple here. Okay. Yes, they're upset. They're trying to mess with your stability. Let them go and do. If they want to go and do that, fine. Let them do that. But if you know that it's not a good offer and it's dirty at the end, protect yourself at all costs. Yeah, honesty. Just be upfront and honest. And if they can't handle it, then Leo, they can't handle it. Like, it is what it is. You can't. Don't save them. They don't want to be saved. You can't try to save everybody, right? Everybody, we all have free will. So it's like you can't force anyone. You know, you can just, you know, again, give them all the necessary information that they need. Hell, you can even tell them why you're not doing it for XYZ, right? Trying to give them that solution, compromise, right? And if, you know, nonetheless, if they still feel how they feel, don't fight with them because they could even be just saying that, you know, well, you're jealous. You have everything going on. You're mad I got this opportunity. Let them have it. Let them have it. Okay. So I said today I was going to actually read on these cards. So the first one was courage. And courage talks about um, you need to remind yourself that part of the challenge of being a soul is learning to honor your own power by listening to your inner voice and following his advice. You are acknowledging the perfection of your intuition. Fear is only an illusion. The obstacles are great opportunities for you to demonstrate that coming from a place of love will conquer all of fear's disguises. Perhaps you are changing career paths or entering a, or exiting a relationship. Exactly. This test has been put before you because it is an opportunity to prove to yourself that you and only you can make the correct decision. But by not taking the step forward, you may find yourself two steps back only to face the same obstacle again. And exactly, it's like needing to take the step forward here from this offer and seeing the proof and knowing what's going on. Because if not, two steps backwards is realizing that this is a dirty offer. And again, putting you back with dealing with this drama starter. So let's see. With Envy, it says, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. You must learn to accept that the obstacles in your life have been chosen by you. To be jealous of the soul path of another is to doubt your ability to judge what is best for you. It is human nature to covet the perceived luxuries of someone on a different journey, but to try to emulate him or her is not being true to your own guidance. You have chosen this life in these circumstances for a reason. By disregarding that and following in the footsteps of another, you are only setting yourself up for confusion and disappointment. You never truly know what is going on in another person's life and what personal challenges he or she may face. So to be envious is a fool's game. Be authentic to your inner voice because only you know what is in your best interest. If you don't follow your own path, you will have to reincarnate and attempt to learn your original lessons again. Okay, 18 away on my timer as I said that. Leo, let's get you a spirit junkie. Call it a day. Enjoy your weekends, my love. Right? Divine Holy Spirit. Close this off for Leo. My dog is too funny. That's my dog. Really, Leo? One card here, please, for Leo. I heard indecisive. <laughs> I am in sync with the flow of life. Okay? Go with it, flow with it, roll with it. I see grace and possibility in all of life's changes. Yes, Leo. So I'm going to leave it here. Happy weekend. Again, birthday blessings. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, I love your face, but not more than I love you. So until the next time we speak, peace out.